Hey guys, what's up? My name is Emily Hood and welcome back to FHN Today TV here on The Hood Report. On this week's episode, we will be discussing Samsung's newest and most expensive phone, a recap of the 2019 Oscars, and a look at some of the trades that happened at the NHL trade deadline. Samsung's newest phone rivals Apple's XS Max both in innovation and price. The phone is called the Galaxy Fold and can actually fold out and double as a tablet. It folds out into a 7.3 inch display. When it is put into phone form, it has a 4.6 inch display. The price of this phone is ridiculous. It's rumored to cost $2,000. Now this price may seem crazy, but other tech companies like China's Huawei have unveiled their versions of the folding phone that start at $2,600. I mean guys, I don't know if the smartphone industry is going to be able to last with these ridiculously priced phones. I make $10 an hour. I cannot afford that. Okay, also I'm a little upset that flip phones are coming back in style because they definitely weren't in style when I had one in seven grade. The phones are expected to come out on April 26th and could revolutionize the smartphone industry in the years to come. This year was named one of the best years in cinematic history with all the great movies recognized at this weekend's Oscars, but of course, as you guys know, that was not without some controversy. The most problematic victory of the evening is the win for Green Book for Best Picture over films such like Black Klansman, Roma, and Black Panther. The movie tells the real-life tale of Dr. Don Shirley, an African-American pianist who hires Italian-American Tony Lip to drive him around the South in the 1960s at the heart of segregation. The movie is criticized for being too stereotypical. It tries to have a positive theme about friendship, but ignores a lot of the actual hardships faced by the African-American community during Jim Crow laws in the 1960s. It was a shock for many after it was voted Best Picture by the Academy, as they had tended to stray away from some cliche themes like the ones found in Green Book in past Best Picture winners. In other notable wins, Rami Malek took home the award for Best Actor for his leading role as Freddie Mercury in Bohemian Rhapsody, and Olivia Colman won Best Actress for her role as Queen Anne in The Favourite. Finally, for this week in sports, the NHL trade deadline was on Monday, and many teams made some big moves to either try and make a run for the Stanley Cup in April or to rebuild their team for the seasons to come. The Blues did make one trade. They acquired Michael DeZoto from the Anaheim Ducks in exchange for a sixth-round draft pick. Overall, there were 22 trades on Monday that involved 25 teams. There were six teams who chose not to make any trades on trade deadline day. That was Chicago, Dallas, Edmonton, the New York Islanders, Tampa Bay, and Washington. The NHL is sure to start heating up as teams begin to fight for a playoff position before the end of the season in early April. And that is all the stories that we have for you today. Thank you so much for tuning in here on FHN Today TV and watching this week's episode of The Hood Report. As always, make sure to come back to this channel tomorrow to watch Sports Break with Jake. I hope you all have a great week.